Hello everyone, and welcome to another episode of the Do It Yourself Gourmet. Today we have a quick tip on how to make a double boiler. One of the key tips about making a double boiler is making sure that the contacts between the bowl and the pan are not completely sealed off. This doesn't have to be a gigantic space, but it does need to be enough for the air to get through. Otherwise a vapor lock will occur and you'll have problems controlling the temperature. So, when you're going to melt chocolate or do a nice little bit of hollandaise, anything that requires a double boiler, but hey, you don't happen to have a double boiler? Well then you can use a saucepan, preferably about, oh you know, four to six quarts at least, and then a bowl that kind of sits in it as well. But then you take a piece of tin foil and then you fold it a couple of times, put it over the side, that way the edge cracks a little bit and there's a little bit of space for the air to escape. There, you have a do-it-yourself double boiler. Do-it-yourself gourmet everybody. We'll see you next time.